Sweet Baby Inc. and narrative consultation companies that are similar are plagues on the video game industry, and while it doesn't look like they're going away anytime soon, they've been struggling over the past year because so many gamers have been calling them out, and we are not afraid to speak with our wallets and ultimately boycott products if we do not like the way they look or the people behind them. But now, Sweet Baby Inc. has removed Square Enix from its client list on its website. I have a few different things to show off, but before I get into the topic, Topic. If you enjoy the content I create, check out the links in the description, join the community in my live streams, and consider supporting through Patreon or YouTube memberships. Now, obviously, SBI has worked with a lot of companies, and Square Enix has been on their website for years at this point, but it looks like suddenly they've disappeared. This is a That Park Place article. It says, Video Game Consultancy Sweet Baby Inc., whose goal is to push woke ideology into video games games removed Square Enix from its client list on its website. Previously, they were listed right between Ubisoft and Warner Brothers games, so they were right at the top and they had been there for years. They had been one of the major companies they had worked with, but one of the interesting things about Square Enix is that we never knew exactly what game they had worked on. We could never find them in the credits of a game. We never really heard any interviews or promotional material, so a lot of people wondered if it was an upcoming game or if they simply had not been very public about the game, though this is not a good precedent, at least in my opinion. It says, however, Sweet Baby and Kiss Sense updated their client list on their website and Square Enix is no longer on it. And I think that this is for a few specific reasons. First of all, not even that long ago, back in June, we had Square Enix shareholders questioning the company about Sweet Baby Inc.'s involvement, and it sounded like they could not get anywhere privately. They couldn't get any answers. So they decided to actually make it public and discuss publicly, hey, listen, there's quite a few of us that are worried about their involvement. We know a lot of gamers are not happy with SBI right now. And they had gotten a very, like, generic public response as well, but the shareholder asked, I'm personally happy about the shift from quantity to quality. I hope good titles will come out in the future. I'm concerned about the Canadian consultant company, Sweet Baby. Square Enix is listed as a client, but is there actually a transaction there? What kind of transaction is it? Will they continue to do so in the future? And then the Square Enix president had responded, I would like to refrain from making specific comments about individual clients as we shift from quantity to quality providing content that is enjoyable and safe for our customers is also part of what makes a product fun. We will do our best as creators. So this right here is, in my opinion, a major reason why a shift was made because just a few months ago, shareholders were questioning, uh, Square Enix about their involvement with Sweet Baby Inc. and, you know, what products they worked on together, if they had something that was ongoing. But that is not a good sign because it looks like Sweet Baby just casually removed Square Enix from their webpage. So if it's so easy to get your name removed from this list, how many other companies will, one, opt to have their name removed from this list, and two, opt to hide their affi uh, affiliation in totality? Because we do rely on game credits and interviews and also this client list to find out if a game has been tainted by a narrative consultancy group like Sweet Baby Inc. But if a Square Enix can go, hey, Sweet Baby, listen, I know this would look good on your resume, but let's say we give you a million extra bucks or let's say half a million extra bucks and you don't add our name to the list, you think we can make a deal and then it's going to make it 10 times harder to find out if these consultancy groups work with a large company like a Square Enix, a Ubisoft, a Warner Brothers Games, a Valve, all of these different studios. So that to me is the number one worry here because 
while Sweet Baby, I'm sure, wants to be able to tout all of these big names and it does look good on their resume when they're either going to another company or another company is looking to work with a consultancy group and they go, who have you worked with in the past? At the end of the day, if they are still making extra money and they still have all of these other big you know, names on this list, having a few fall off is not going to hurt them because there are so many companies that agree with what they're doing and so many companies that are still pushing for diversity initiatives with their games, whether it's the teams that are making the games or the cast of characters on screen, they still have these checklists that they're going down. So hearing that Square Enix just a few months ago had problems with shareholders and suddenly the name is off the list is extremely worrying. And hey, there is a chance that maybe Sweet Baby never ended up doing anything with Square Enix and they they never actually ended up working on a project together and their list um you know consisted of Square Enix's name because they were planning to work with each other but a contract was never you know set in stone or that project never really came to fruition there's a chance that that happened and Square Enix just followed up and said hey listen why is our name on this list and maybe this all just boils down to Square Enix saying enough is enough we have seen so many Japanese companies like Bandai Namco who are adopting more DEI type policies but maybe there are others like Square Enix who are moving away from that direction I know that it is hard to give them the benefit of the doubt because they have censored so many games over the years but they still do have some amazing IPs they could still make good content and maybe they see that narrative consulting groups are not going to be a big W they are not going to make them some boatload of money so Square Enix is saying enough is enough we do not want to work with you in the future we do not want to continue this partnership and because we want to terminate this partnership we want our name removed from the list we do not have exact answers here, which is the major problem, right? It's all speculation. We do not have anything set in stone because neither of these companies are being extremely transparent with us. So there is a lot of room for speculation, but this could potentially mean that Square Enix has basically fired Sweet Baby Inc. And they've said enough is enough. We don't want to work with you anymore. Now, of course, take everything I've said with a grain of salt. Do not instantly believe one theory because it may be more complicated than we understand. You know, we're talking about a big company here working with a narrative consultant group that it does seemingly blackmail companies, as we heard with Game Science and Black Myth Wukong, though none of this looks good for Sweet Baby at the end of the day, because if they are losing clients as big as Square Enix, that means other could follow in Squeenix's footsteps and maybe going forward we won't see companies like Ubisoft's work with them anymore or Sony's work with them anymore or Electronic Arts. Now some of these companies do definitely have DEI policies ingrained in you know their their companies in totality when it comes to the developers that they're hiring and also the characters that they're putting into video games so i think that in some instances it would be significantly harder for these companies to see a reason to move away from working with sweet babies and black girl gamers but right now this is you know definitely a situation that we don't have a lot of details on but either way it looks like sweet baby ain't got fired and it's pretty freaking funny but that's all that i really had to discuss in this video let everyone know your thoughts in the comments below if you enjoyed this give it a like and if you didn't give it a dislike i appreciate your support either way but i will talk to you all again in the next video really soon